Hey! <laughs> what has been going on, smileys? What we're not going to do is ignore the fact that I haven't posted or created a video in two whole months. And honestly, I don't even know where the time went. I literally went to bed one night and it was March, and then I woke up and it was May. And I was like, what? What? But um, I'm back now and I'm excited to be back. We're not gonna ignore the fact that I haven't posted in two months, but what we are going to do is address why AI has been MIA. You know, it's not just one reason in particular, it's a plethora of things. I've been, you know, dealing with real life. Just really busy. I do work a full-time job, so that takes a lot of time and energy. I'm a very hard worker. And what it boils down to is prioritizing. I stopped prioritizing and setting aside the time that it takes to make these videos. Everything takes time, and we all have the same 24 hours in a day. It's how we spend them that sets us apart. So if I really want to do this, I know that you know I have to set aside the time to do it. And um, I started keeping a bullet journal, which has been really helpful in you know working on my time management. And I promise I'm gonna do better and be more consistent with posting my videos. That's the goal. Let's see. I've also been spending a lot of time with friends and family and just having fun and living life. You know, took some time to mourn the passing of someone who I considered a little sister. So I do want to say, you know, rest in peace, Ashley. You will forever be in my heart as my little sister and I'll love you forever and you will truly be missed. But I'm back and I'm excited to be back. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. It's a follow-up video from the dreads that I did a couple months ago. They are growing like crazy and I'm excited about that. And tonight I'm going to show you a retwist and then I actually braided them to the back. So I hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for staying tuned and sticking with me. Thank you for the comments from those of you who, you know, your thoughts and prayers and condolences. And um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'm excited. See y'all next time. Mwah. Hey smileys, you know, a little break really goes a long way and I do believe that it's healthy to reset every now and then and I'm actually feeling refreshed. It's the feeling that you have when you get a second wind, that new surge of energy after a period of mental or physical exhaustion. And now that I'm refreshed, let's say we refresh these blocks. So look how far we've come. We are nine months in and counting, and we're getting closer and closer to the one year mark every day. So I'm using my usual technique. I'm applying a small amount of gel, then twisting from the top down and using a clip to secure each twist. Repeat this process until you've twisted all the locks. I'm using Eco Style Professional Styling Gel with black castor and flaxseed oil, but feel free to use whatever gel you like or whichever is best suited for your hair type. Some prefer to use a gel specifically for locks and twists. Others like to use butters like shea butter or mango butter. Trust me, it's completely up to you. Try experimenting with a few to see which ones you prefer. head is twisted I sprayed it with a little bit of African pride braid sheen spray for moisture and a bit of shine what we didn't show here is the blow drying step I used a small blow dryer for about 20 minutes to speed up the drying process then I removed the clips starting in the back and working my way forward OK, 
Okay, now I mentioned that I'm gonna braid the hair to the back. Here I am separating the hair in sections to be braided so that I get each section even. I'm gonna do four braids to the back. It's getting hot outside and someone doesn't want their hair out, so we're gonna wrap braids for a minute. But anyway, I started with the two outside braids and then worked on the middle two. I used the clip to tuck or hide the strays along the way to make sure the braids looked nice and neat. I used a rubber band to secure the ends of each braid and then combine the four braids at the bottom. There you have it, all done. Thanks for watching again, smileys, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah!